Okay, here's a couple of my projects I just finished up. This is a uh, to support the poles on the on the pontoon. I just took a two by six, ripped it in about two thirds, drilled six holes in it, then I cut it in half, spray painted some silver paint, and then I took a golf ball, heated the top up, and the golf ball just pressed down and made the taper a little bit there. So that's all done. This is my tank that I built. This is uh, from Tractor Supply. It's about 42 inches long, so for Ohio, uh, it's a pretty good size fish for Ohio. I also have another uh, live well on the pontoon. It's about two thirds this size, so if I have smaller fish. So it actually fills from my live well on the boat uh, so I can fill it and I have a pump in here that uh, circulates the water in the tank and I also have two valves up there which the left valve when you open it it actually dumps the water back into the lake or river the only problem was out, out on the river yesterday was the drains were a little bit too high so I'm gonna I'm gonna take those out uh, plug the holes I've got some big stainless steel washers uh, RTV them and uh, lower them down just a little bit the water was actually equal to the tube in here so it wouldn't aerate other than that it was it worked out it worked perfect my little splash guard worked great uh, since that's a low end of the boat the water kind of sloshes out that side so what yesterday the water would come up underneath there and slosh right back into the tank I had very very little water in the boat and it splashed out at the upper end just a little bit probably just a few ounces and there's what the, the two overflows and the pump down I've got a strap down to the bottom and I brought the, uh, the power up here to the deck right there it's, it's dirt, and the wires through a rubber grommet and this switch up here is what turns it on and off works out real good so that's my little project I finished up just got to move the two drains and I'm done